Hello everybody, it's Jen. Welcome to day seven of the holiday card series. Today we're having some fun making an underwater scene for Christmas. So I'm using the Christmas fishes and I brought in a couple of extra elements from the Ho Ho Holidays, both from the newer release of Lawn Fawn. Bringing in some older stamp sets here, the Holiday Helpers, You Are Sublime, and Mermaid For You. Went ahead and stamped and colored those out. I did color or stamp some extra fish there. I thought I might want to use the little Santa hats. So we're going to jump in to some coloring here. So I'm just coloring up the images from the newer releases. So you could see how you might want to color them. This is also a design team project for Not Too Shabby. Jamie does have both the Christmas fishes and the Ho Ho Holidays in stock, which is great. Still time to purchase if you want to make some holiday cards. She also has the older Holiday Helpers stamp set available as well. And I will link everything in the description box below so you can easily click to the products. So for the little seaweed tree, which I think is super cute, I'm doing a three color blend with YG17 as my darkest, YG25 as my midtone, and YG01 as my highlight color. I'm just going ahead and adding the darkest color behind the seashells and where any of the pieces of seaweed touch. So those will cast a shadow. And then I decided to add a little bit of the darker color along the one side of the strands of seaweed. Blended that out with my midtone, which I'm doing here now. And then I'll go ahead and just use the lightest marker there for that littlest sliver. For the fish, I decided to do a golden yellow tone. And my darkest color is the Y38, my midtone the Y17. And then I used the Y15 as my brightest yellow and really centered that highlight to the middle of them. I kind of wanted them to look, I guess, sort of like goldfish. So this could be under the sea or it could be an aquarium tank. I wanted to add the little Santa sack to the Santa sleigh and for that I'm using E35, E34, and E31. I really love that co color combination for a craft color such as the bag here. So that was super easy to color. Didn't know yet what color I wanted the tie for the Santa sack to be so I just left that and I'm moving on to our little jellyfish here which is so cute. I tried my hand at this combination here. It's BG75, BG45, and BG01. They are positioned fairly close together on Sandy Alnock's hex, hex chart, which really helps me pick colors. And this was a combination I hadn't done, so wanted to give it a try. I really like the colors for our little jellyfish here. I will go ahead and add faces you'll see once we're done the coloring to the jellyfish and our little Santa crab. Once the coloring's done and I can play around with figuring out what kind of faces I want to put on them. I'm going to move on next to our little uh, crab here. So for the crab, I wanted his red body to be different from the colors I chose for the Santa hats. So I'm using a little bit of a lighter color for him, the R29, the R24, and the R22. So this will give him a little bit more of a tomato-like red color. And then you'll see when I bring in the reds for the Santa hat and the sleigh that I'm going to use a darker tone, which I really like using for the holidays. So for that red tone, I'm going to be using the R39, the R29, and the R24. So two of these markers are the same for both, the R29 and the R24. Just taking away the lightest from the crab and adding that darker R39, and it gives us a completely different look. For the sleigh, I decided to go with my dark grays here for a black look. So I'm just using a two color blend. I did have the wrong cap off there and didn't want to use the chisel tip, so just needed to switch that out. Using C7 and C5, these are very thin areas, so I didn't want to try my hand at using a three color blend. 
now that we have everything colored up, here's where I'm going to add the faces. There's lots of cute little faces in here to choose from. I decided to give the little jellyfish an open mouth and our little crab a fun little face as well. Went ahead and cut all of those out with my brother's scan and cut, and now I'm using the Trinity Stamps Slimline dies here. Jamie now carries Trinity Stamps in the shop. Unfortunately, these are currently sold out, but they are available over at Trinity, so I'll link to both of those. Went ahead and cut out this scalloped rectangle here. Now this measures roughly, oh, I don't have the measurements in front of me, but it's a little bit smaller than the size of a card base that I like to use for the slim line. So I choose to make mine four inches by nine inches. So you can see here, it just leaves a nice white border. Went ahead and did some distress ink background. So I used my oxides in peacock feathers, tumble glass, and salty ocean for that. Did spray it with some water to get a little bit of some splattered look there and some different looks for that background for the water. I went ahead and cut that bottom piece out for the sand just out of some craft cardstock I had in my stash and then glued that over top of the blended background. So you can see here now I'm just playing with pl placement. I sort of had an idea of how I wanted this to look before I started but I do keep the entire process in of making this scene card so you can see what it's like uh, to make a little bit more of an elaborate scene like this. So I wanted the Santa sleigh here to kind of be the star of the show to the left hand side of the card so I started with that first. I wanted to put the little lobster in there. I do live on the Atlantic Ocean and we have lobsters in the cove where we live so it's a little bit of a nod to where I'm from. Added the Santa sack and then the present and you saw there that I ended up cutting the little reins for what would be the reindeer in the Ho Ho Holiday set and I wanted to use them for the fish but they didn't fit like they would on the reindeer for the fish. So I just went ahead and cut that apart and made it work. So the little reins there will be behind the fish but I think it's fine. It gives the impression that I'm going for here and nobody's really going to care that it's not tied around them, I don't think, anyways. So I went ahead and used two of the fish to pull the sleigh. I knew that I wanted to have the tree and two of the mermaids to the right hand side. I did need to just use my acrylic block there to uh, make sure that was good and adhered down. Now I forgot that I wanted to use this little nice list. This is from the Holiday Helpers stamp set. So I'm trying to make it fit as much as possible. I really wanted it in there. And you can see I'm playing around trying to figure out where it looks best and I end up putting it under the present. I did trim the bottom of that off a little bit because most of the images were adhered down. And then I can go ahead and add some glue behind that present and it will look like I intended it to go there the entire time. So now I'm going to work on the Little Mermaid here that I want to sit on the large rock. So I wanted to fill in that bottom middle portion of the scene card and really I just wanted all the images on this card. I wanted to put as much on it as I could and didn't even get as many of the images on as I wanted but I do love the way it turned out. So I want the seaweed to be behind the rocks. I'm going to go ahead and adhere those into place before I, I adhere down this large rock. Just figuring out where I want these to go. I did add pops of like a teal color and then this really kind of hot pink color. I just thought it would be fun to have a little bit of non-traditional colors mixed in with traditional. I'm going to go ahead and add her now to the rock and I realized I had adhered that rock a little too high so that's the beauty of using liquid glue. I was able to move it down a little bit. So she's in place and now I'm going to work on the right hand side of the card. So my idea here is that they were kind of decorating the little Christmas tree. So I wanted the merman and then the mermaid on either side of, 
our Christmas tree here. And here's where you can see that I really start playing around with placement, trying to figure out how this is going to work best. At this point, I knew that I was kind of running out of room, even though this is a larger card size, which I love the slimline size. It just gives you that added extra space to really create dynamic and fun scenes. So if you haven't tried one, I would definitely encourage you. You don't need fancy dies to do this. You can just cut a panel at four inches by nine inches, and then you can cut a regular piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I cut it eight by nine and then score at four and you get your card base for this size of card. So here I'm just, as I mentioned, placing these down, trying to figure out where I want them. I didn't adhere down this last mermaid for a while. I was contemplating adding some of the other little ocean creatures with her. And in the end, I don't. But now I'm just going to play around with the presents. I love the little oyster present. It's so cute. So I decided to put that beside our little mermaid on the rock. And then I'm going to add four of these tiny presents underneath the little seaweed Christmas tree. Now I don't adhere these right away either. I wasn't quite sure if this was the way I was going to leave it or if I was going to add more. Wanted to make sure I got the little uh, crab on there. I also wanted the jellyfish, but he just didn't fit. So you can see here, I'm gonna play with whether or not I can have him around the Christmas tree but I just felt like it was too busy that way. So I will do the inside of this card after I get the front done and he goes on the inside of the card. So at least I got to use him. But now I'm gonna decide to adhere down the little presents and then I can go ahead and work on the left hand side of the card. So. I asked about watching holiday movies uh, on Hallmark Channel in one of my last holiday videos. You all said, well, not you all, but a lot of you were watching them as well. I'd love to know what your traditional favorite holiday movies are. Are there ones that you watch every year that you just can't miss? I'd love to know that if you want to leave that in the comments. I'd also love to know if you live in a warm place for the holidays. I usually travel from Canada down to Florida at some point during the holidays. I like to get away to the warmth and so these underwater cards are perfect for people who live by the ocean or water or in warm temperatures. So always fun to create some Christmas cards that work for nice warm weather as well as the typical kind of snow related Christmas cards. So you can see here, this is where I decided to use one of the Santa hats from the fish. And I just went ahead and cut the fish off of the hat. I did use my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker just to give a black outline under where I cut. And then I placed that on top of our little merman there. Added a starfish to the one mermaid's hair and I'm, I am going to add one to the other mermaid as well. So now working on our little Santa Claus here, which is one of the sentiments in the stamp set. I don't use that one, but it's pretty cute and would have worked well for this card. I did wanna add a rock here and some seaweed just to tie in the fact that there's seaweed in our little middle cluster of images and the cluster of images to the right hand side. So just trying to balance the card out. I did wanna give our little mer people here, some things in their hands. I thought about giving them a present, but I went with the little candy canes and I believe the candy canes are from the Holiday Helpers stamp set as well. Thought about adding the candy canes as decoration to the trees, but I just felt like I was getting way too busy here and needed to make a decision to just leave well enough alone. Although, like I said, I just, I wanted this card to be super busy and full and use as many images as I could. So here's where I'm going to add the little uh, starfish to the other mermaid's hair. And still I'm trying to add more to this card, 
but I am going to decide here that I think this is enough and this is where I also decide that I can go ahead and add some of the images to the inside of the card. So I'm using C Zen's greetings for the inside. I'm going to add two of the fish and then our little jellyfish here. And I think that just gives a nice surprise and brings the front of the card to the inside of the card. So I love how this card turned out. I love making scene cards. So now I'm just going to go with some finishing touches here and then the card is almost complete. I'm going to use some black uh, glaze gel pen for the eyes. I will bring in my Nouveau shimmer pen here to add lots of glitter. And then I will bring in some of the Nouveau in White Blizzard. I didn't love how the sleigh blending turned out. So what I decided to do was add some of the Nouveau White Blizzard uh, drops. And then you'll see here I'll grab out a little paintbrush and I will just add that glitter to the sleigh and it, it helps blend and kind of camouflage the imperfections in the sleigh. Added some Nouveau Glaze and we're done. So I hope you've enjoyed this card. Thank you so much for joining me and all the amazing comments you've left during the holiday card series. Have a great day everyone. Here's another holiday video for you to watch until I'm back with the next one. Bye!